What if Deku was a legendary Super Saiyan Part 7? So I know a lot of you guys wanted what if Deku had Goku Black's powers today, but I was thinking I need to finish this series up as I need a new series coming out on Saturday that I want to do. So yeah. So last time I mentioned that Goku just laughed as he said he was only using like 0.1% of his power when he turned into a monkey and they were fighting um, all for one. And I mentioned that so Frieza, Goku, and Vegeta felt the energy that this kid was putting off and you know how Broly was matching Goku in strength so Goku and Vegeta had to fuse? That's how strong Deku is. So, what happens is Goku and Vegeta go to Whis, who's on the on planet Earth, with Bulma again, and they ask, "Can we please go to Universe One to see Deku?" Or they say Zuku, but I'm gonna say Deku. But like, can we go to there to see Deku? And she's like, and he's like, sorry, he's like, oh yes. Yes, he's grown very strong. I'm supposing that you want to fight him now. And Goku and Vegeta yelled yes. Like, they were super excited. They were like, yes! Just, so, they go there. And Frieza also, like, feels this power. And there's like, it feels just like Broly. But it's so far away. So, Frieza says, many... Fly the ship to that, and he's like, sir, it's going to take many years to get there. And then Frieza just, so I'm going to say Frieza um, actually, um, actually, you know how he like talked to one of the gods or something? Oh, wait, no, that was, no, was, but like how one of the gods tried to get Frieza on their team. Well, he actually, um, well, I'm going to say he actually knows the universe one god in this timeline. And he's like, yo, can I come over? over, I have something I need to find, and he's like, oh yeah, sure, so, they, he's coming over at, like, the same speed as Frieza and them, and they get there, and Frieza's like, huh, feels like two presidents, and it's kind of like Goku and Vegeta, guess this, these more, like, these, um, low-level humans actually have something, and, like, how could any human be this strong, though? And then he laughs to himself, maybe there are other Saiyans here. Because, like, he he just laughed like that because he just thought, like, because he felt that and he was like, oh, it might be another Saiyan. And he laughed like others, like Goku and Vegeta, ironically. So they get there at, like, the same time. They can feel each other's presence. Goku and Vegeta are just trying to find um, Deku. And, like, Deku sees Goku and Vegeta flying up in the air looking for him. And then Deku just jumps up there and flies up and says, Goku! And he's like, hey. And so what I'm going to say is that the heroes all recognize Deku's behavior, like, how he was. And they're like, kid, you need to take this test with us. So they basically just did... Um, they already saw how he was acting so kind and stuff, so they basically, and how he could save people so quickly, and, like, how nice he was when he saved people and stuff. Like, they took him out to save people, and and then they just gave him his hero license to use his cork, because they're like, man, this kid's obviously going to be the number one hero. Just give him his cork quickly, because he helped us with all for one. And, like, like, some people can actually, like, feel... This very strong presence, so they're like, yeah, we need to give this kid something so he can fight them. So that all happened, and then like, go Deku just jumps up and says, Goku, what's up? And he, and he's like, I finally returned Dek, I finally returned Deku, and he's like, yeah, after it's been so long. As they laughed, and then he asked, wait, do you want to fight? And Goku's like, yeah, I want to fight. You want to go? Come on, let's let's spar. And Vegeta's like, hold on, hold on, damn it, I feel something. It's kind of like Frieza. And, like, Goku's like, wait, you don't think he's on this planet, too, looking for Deku, right? And Deku's just like, who's Frieza? Then Vegeta says, Goku, you idiot, you haven't told him about our drive with Frieza? He's like, 
Well, I mean, I, I probably should have, but I mean, I didn't think he'd come over all the way to Universe 1. And then Deku's like, wait, is Frieza someone strong? And then Deku, and then Goku's like, yeah, he actually made me turn this, he actually made me get so strong as he, as he could take me into a, as that, as he killed my friend Krillin and that made me turn into a Super Saiyan. And Deku's like, wow, that's so cool. And then the, Goku's like, wait, have, do you know what, what Super Saiyan is? Wait, are you talking about when I, like, lost every, all sense in myself? He's like, oh, yeah, that. Um, let's train, I need to train you to how to, like, f like, go into that power without going rage, rage mode. As you have another form card, Uzaru form, that you can use that's fully based on rage. Like, that, that, like, your monkey form, but in yourself, so you still can't control it. But you're a lot powerful. And Deku's like, whoa, really? So, they just spend, like, the next few weeks teaching Deku how to use it. And, like, every time he'd go, um, t like, every time he'd accidentally go berserk, they just cross-chop him on the neck and, like, instantly, um, he'd faint. Like, see, um, they were, Goku and v Vegeta actually fused as Gogito without the Partara earrings, they did the fusion dance, as they knew how strong Deku was, and if he went berser berserk on them, that could, like, kill them and kill so many people, so they fused to do that. So, yeah, and uh, De Deku's like, whoa, fusion, is this some weird fusion thing? And Goku's like, oh, right, let's teach him that. And Deku learns how to um, fuse with... Goku and Vegeta, he learns the fusion dance and stuff. Since he's a full-blooded Saiyan, he can easily do it. It doesn't, like, he knows how to do it, like, pretty much after watching. Um, and it does take two tries to do it, just because, like, that's how the series goes, basically. <clears throat> and so, they finish teaching him. He actually ends up learning how to control his Super Saiyan. And now... He's going to UA, and Goku and Vegeta are just hanging out for a couple months just because they want to, like, be around Deku and, like, train him more to get him as strong as them so then they can have another sparring partner and stuff while, like, the other might be, like, fighting or something. So, so they all do that, and then Frieza is still looking for Deku, and he's like, where's that damn monkey? I want to fight him and kill him so I don't have to deal with him. And he comes across this UA school, and, uh, and like, they're in class, and then all of a sudden, Deku stands up with a very, very worried face on, on him, like, and he's like, free, he just yells out, Frieza! And, like, all the class turns at him, and Mr. Azel is just like, what are you talking about, Deku, can't you sit down? And he's like, you guys can't feel it, but there's a very strong villain coming, coming around here. And, like, Mr. Azal is just like, what? What do you mean? And he's like, Frieza, damn it! My master could barely defeat him. Well, he doesn't say master, but he says, Goku could barely defeat him. How could we ever defend him? And, like, Goku and Vegeta actually tell that he's going by UA, so they basically just camp out watching what's gonna happen. And, like... Like, he just, like, the doors stop him from going into UA, and he just sends a small little key blast, hits the door, and it just explodes. And, like, all the people around are just like, what the hell is that kid, what the hell is that guy's quirk? And why does he look so weird? Like, everyone's just been staring at him, and he's just been saying, oh, why are you staring? I'm the strongest out of all of you. And they're like, what a weird quirk that guy has. And he's like, quirk, what is that? And they're like, where, who, who are you and where are you from? And he's like, oh, I'm Frieza from Universe 7. And they're all like, what the heck is this guy? Like, they have no clue what the heck this guy is. So, he just, he busts into UA. And then the alarms go off. And Deku just says, stay calm. It's only one person. Don't run out. And, like, Mr. Aizawa's like, how do you know? I can feel it. There's only one person here.
and Deku's just like, and Mr. Ezra was like, okay, fine. So they sit there waiting, and Deku says, he's coming. And Mr. Ezra was like, damn it, why didn't we leave? Because then he would have followed me. So Deku's just sitting his, in his seat, well, like, kind of worried, but also smiling, like, yes, I finally get to fight another strong opponent. And Frieza gets to the door, and he says, and then Deku's like, here he comes. And then Frieza just kicks down the door. He's like, hello, monkey. Monkey, where are you? And, like, everyone's shocked monkey. And then he's like, oh, yeah, I turned into my... Don't you guys remember when I turned into my monkey form? And they're like, oh, yeah. Like, he still has his tail, because no... His tail actually grew back, I think. I'm not really sure if they cut it off or not. I think they did, but his tail grew back. And he's like, oh, you're the monkey I've been looking for. He's like, stop calling me the... And he's like, oh, I've called Goku and Vegeta monkey so many times. And you little brat won't be able to stop me. As he just takes Deku's hand and just throws him out out the window. And Deku just is flying into a bunch of buildings. And Mr. Aizawa tries to use his cork, but nothing happens. And he's like, what the hell? And that's when Deku flies back in, punches Frieza the other way and says... He's not from here. He's from Universe 7, and he's not even human. He's just like me, but different species. And everyone turns like, De just like you, different species. Wait, are you saying you're not human, Deku? Are you saying you're corkless? And then Deku says, yeah, maybe. And, like, everyone's shocked, like, what? How are you corkless? And then Deku says, I'm not even a human. Like, I'm 100% full-blooded Saiyan. And they're like, Saiyan? He explains that he can, like, power up and stuff, and he can go monkey form and stuff, and, like, I thought that was your cork and stuff, Deku. Well, yeah, it should be, but I actually came here when I was a baby with my mom and dad, because we were banished, because I was stronger than the entire... Because when I was three days old, they checked my power level, and I was stronger than the entire planet combined, so... Like, I'm gonna say Universe 1 Sands are pretty weak, but Deku was, like, the strongest. He was equal to Broly when he was born. So, and, like, the king of the Saiyans kicked me out, kind of, like, how they did to another person in Universe 7. And, like, Mr. is always like, so he doesn't have a cork. And he's stronger than all of us, maybe even you. And he's like, yeah, he's probably stronger than me. And, and so, like, if, like all the heroes rush to the to, like, UA and stuff, and, like, Deku is, like, they're out in, the, like, the courtyard and stuff, just, like, f like, walk, like, talking to each other and, like, insulting them, and, like, like, All Might and them are about to fight him, and Deku yells at him, stop, you idiot, like, they've never seen him this, like, in angry before, if he touch, if any of you get close to him, he can kill you in one punch, and, and they yell, what is his quirk? Then. And he's like, he doesn't have one. He's not human. Just like me. I'm like, damn it. Why does Deku always know what these things are? Like, they're, they all are confused. Like, doesn't have a cork. And then Mr. Aizawa shows up and says, yep. Yep, he explained it. He's from Universe 7. And like, Deku has actually explained the universe thing to everyone. Because Goku did and told him he probably should. So he did that. And, like, they're all like, huh. Like, they're all confused. Like, why would he come here? And he's probably, like, to kill me. Because I'm another monkey in his way. And I'm like, monkey? Yeah, I'm saying. And then we're, like, monkeys and stuff. And then... And then they're... Then they begin to fight. And Goku and Vegeta are just watching. Watching. And then Goku teleports... Or instant transmissions right in front of Deku and blocks one of Frieza's punches. Deku's like... Goku, why'd you do that? And, like, Vegeta's on the other side because he was, like, Goku yelled at him to, like, hold, like, touch his back so he could, like, teleport him with him. And then they're there, and they're, like, and then he's, like, oh, you guys showed up. <laughs> I knew you were here. And he's, like, we know. No, you can't just, no, why are you here, Frieza? And to kill this kid. And, like, Goku just gets mad and just goes Super Saiyan. Why do you come here just to kill me? What's your problem with me? He, and then Frieza's like, Because you're a stupid monkey. And he just 
runs at him, like, Goku, or Deku's in full-on Super Saiyan, and, like, the Earth is just going, like, crazy, it's, like, shaking and stuff, like, all the people are, like, worried, and then, like, that was just Deku powering up, and then he says, ha ah! and he just, like, flies right towards Frieza, and they're just, like, sparring really fast, and, like, you can't even see it, it's just, like, you can hear the shock waves and, like, barely see, like, just them hitting each other, like, you can't see their bodies at all, just, like, their punch impacts, like, everyone's like, whoa, he's, he's doing that so fast. How is that possible? And that's where I'm going to leave it off, guys, for now. I know it's a cliffhanger. I know it's a cliffhanger. Um, I'm sorry, but, like, I can't really do any more because it's past the time limit that I need. So, um, yeah, I can't really do any more. But I hope you guys did enjoy this part, part four of What If... Deku had Goku Black's powers will come out tomorrow or Friday if you guys want to see part 8 of this where it's going to be a full on Deku versus Frieza battle and yeah I hope you guys did enjoy make sure you guys subscribe and give me suggestions for a new what if in the comment section below see you guys bye